Hey YouTube, Peterbilt Knife Guy. So I'm doing a uh, a sheath update on an axe that I've been making. Uh, I did kind of do a teaser to it. I showed how to put in a, use a pop rivet instead of like one of these traditional rivets, which I should look at buying, but they just don't make them enough to go through really. I haven't found them to go through. Look at this, only two pieces of leather. I'm going through at least three where there's a welt. But this is my swing axe. This is not the leather one I'm talking about. I'm talking about one for his hardcore hammer. It's a pretty cool axe. Not sure if I like the hammer on it. It's they call it like a a minimalist axe, or I can't remember what it was called, but I don't know. It seems kind of like a, a roofing or framing axe or something to me. For their prices, kind of gimmicky, but hey cool man shit so but yeah so he uh he wanted to put it in his truck and be able to wear it on his belt and asked me if i could make him a sheath so i'm like you know i've never made an, a sheath for an axe before let me see if i can and i did and i have no clue how i freaking did it <laughs> i struggled because you know you're going from welted welted to something that has to be able to hold a hammer. And that one got me. And I had limited leather at the time. And I still do actually. But uh, I was like, all right, so if I screw up, I'm screwed, but we'll try it out. But this is what I came up with. It's the first time I used brown leather dye too. I actually kind of like it. It gives it kind of a, you know, some spots are thicker than others, but it gives it kind of just like a distressed, uh, I don't know, kind of like aged look. And I kind of like it a lot, actually. I might be using it more in the future. Uh, you know, when you go around the edges, it sucks in more dye, sucks in more dye. That is, that is from the dye. That is not from pins or anything. And uh, yeah, it's even on the inside. That, I think it's kind of cool. I did decide I'm just gonna start stamping my uh, <clears throat> my uh, initials into the leather pieces I make, especially the ones I'm not keeping. So if anybody ever asks, hey. Where'd you get that sheath? <laughs> At least I got somewhat of a maker's mark on there. I have a uh, maker's mark for when I did blacksmithing, but I cannot find it for the life of me. But anyways, uh, I thought about doing something like this and it's got a place for a belt loop. Um, I don't know if you know, but like a lot of axes are meant to be carried backwards. So like this is on your hip, on your right side. Um, that way if you fall and it's on your hip, you know, there's no sharp things going for you. If you fall on your arm or you land or something like, you know, and it doesn't cut you. So I made this one the same way. They're both, both held this way. And he's not a lefty, so this is the way he hold it. Um, but yeah, it fits in here pretty damn good. I let the leather dye dry for, I think, two days. But I mean, it just goes, look at that, just, just snugs right in. I put a welt all the way around, um, riveted the back end. There's not much room for, for movement. Sorry about that. Interrupted by my kid again. So yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. I really kind of look the, like the look of it. Um, I mean, if I have my choice between this one or like the East wing, uh, I would definitely choose this one um, to be determined if it's easier to use. I think this if this was on your hip, the way it comes out is, you know, and try to put it back in. I think it'd be fumbly. This one drops in from the top. So we'll see how it works. But yeah, I, uh, I'm happy with the way it came out, especially cause I didn't royally screw it up. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Also, I just sharpened both these things. This thing is wicked sharp. I don't think an axe should be that sharp, but it is. Oh my God, could you imagine? That thing is wicked, wicked sharp. These uh, West Wings or East Wings, they're uh, they're pretty good steel. I think they're like 10, 1055 high carbon and they heat treat them. So they'll do a good job and actually hold a decent edge. Even for the thin profile on that, it'll still hold a decent edge. 
This one, in the process of making the leather sheath, I bumped it. So I think it has a burr in there, but oh yeah. I mean, that's just a stupid, stupid sharp burn axe. If you can't cut something with that, whew, you got a problem. Thank you.